in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started the fourth chapter. It was about phonetics. And uh, day before yesterday, our topic was bilabials or bilabial sounds. That how bilabial sounds are found. Today, we are going to talk about labiodental sounds. That what are labiodental sounds and how these sounds are found. Labiodental is the combination of two words. Labio mean lip and dental mean sounds. Those sounds which are formed with the help of our lower lip and upper front teeth. Such sounds are known as labiodental sounds. I'm repeating. Sounds which are formed with our upper teeth and lower lip. Such sounds are known as labiodental sounds. You know, in previous lectures, I shared with you that there are two types of articulators. Active articulators and passive articulators. Active articulators are those which move toward passive articulators. And passive articulators are those which do not move. Our tongue, our lower lip, these are active articulators. And the parts of our tongue, like the tip of the tongue, the back of the tongue, the root of the tongue, the blade of the tongue, these are also active articulators. On the other hand, we have passive articulators which do not move, like our teeth, our palate, the parts of the palate, these are passive articulators. So coming back to our topic, uh, labiodental, that these sounds are produced and formed by our liver lip and uh, upper front teeth. There are two sounds which are formed uh, by our liver lip and upper front teeth and they are the first one is known as F sound or F sound and the next known is V sound or V. Now, the question is that either which one of them is voiced and which one of them is voiceless. As I told you before, the difference between voiced sound and voiceless sound that why sound is produced without yes why sound is produced with vibration and voiceless sound is produced without vibration uh, between our local uh, vocal cords so now what is the method is used for this so coming to the method let me tell you first of all that either which one of them is voiced and voiceless sound. So F is voiceless sound while V it is voiced sound. It is produced and pronounced without vibration uh, between our vocal cords and here it is produced with vibration. And uh, so this F is voiceless sound while this V is voiced sound. What is the method of writing of these sounds as a symbol in IPA? I told you that IPA means International Phonetic Alphabet. International Phonetic Alphabet Association was uh, developed in 1886 and uh, it is a standard way of uh, writing down there's the sounds of a language in a standard way. 
So now what is the method? There are two methods to write down these, uh, these letters or these sounds as a symbol in our fear. So there are two methods. First of all, I'm writing the past method that is known as broad transcription. That is known as broad transcription. What is broad transcription? Broad transcription is also a method in which uh, we write the different sounds of a language between slashes. For example, I'm writing here uh, these uh, sounds. F sound and this V sound. So this is one method. Another method is narrow trans transcription. Narrow transcription is a method of writing down the symbols uh, of a language of a, or the sounds of a language is a symbol uh, between square brackets. Like you see, I'm writing this now, F sound and uh, V sound. Now, uh, listeners and audience, uh, there is a question. And the question is that what is the main difference between F sound and V sound? So answer to this question is easy. This F sound, it is voiceless sound. It is produced without vibration. And it is produced with vibration. So it is voice sound. So one is voiceless, another is voice sound. However, there is another practical example I am presenting before you that you could understand. You know, whenever we are uh, making these sounds, so at the beginning of making these sounds, the flowing of air is passed for a while and then after producing of these sounds, then especially in F sound, the air starting to flow. While here, there is no moment of air, just vibration is there between our vocal cords. I'm practicing now that what is the main difference between F sound and V sound. So whenever I am, am making this sound, definitely the page will move. As compared to V, the page will not move. See, for example, I say, I'm pronouncing this word, uh, this letter, sorry, this sound. F, F, F. Now I'm talking about V sound or V, V, V. So there is no vibration. Again, I'm uh, using these, uh, these sounds and later that you understand them. For example, I am writing this is a food and this one is very. Now you see, I am uh, repeating these two words. Food, food and this word very, very. So there is no moment of this batch. And there are two basic terms I am repeating and share with you which are very important and on the base of them you can produce many other examples. Take the example of Putu and take the example of Kaf. Keep these two points in your mind that though the spelling and the letters and the sounds are changed but here this P it produces F sound like Futu. Here the sound is F Futu. And here this uh, the, uh, the ending or the final sound is F sound. So when we are making this sound we say cuff or cuffing. If you are pronouncing the word laugh 
L A U J H laugh. So here will be F sound laugh. So let's present ideas. I think that this topic is now clear to you. Thank you.